Hi, welcome to ShowMeTheCurry.com. I'm Hethal. I'm Anuja and today we're going to show you how to make rasam pori or rasam powder. Mm -hmm. It's the little spice mixture that goes into the rasam that just... And makes it rasam. <laughs> right. And this recipe was given to us by Manojana Pati. Now this is what her email said. It was so sweet. It says, hi, not finding any flavor in the MTR or Shakti rasam powder. No matter how much I add, I start make. It just won't have the flavor. So she started making her own rasam powder. And yeah, it's not my recipe, it's my mom's and granny's. So, wow, it's come down some generations. And then she makes it and she distributes it to a lot of her friends. So, why not just share it with Show Me The Curry? Mm -hmm. How Absolutely. wonderful. Absolutely, and we share it with you. <laughs> so thank you so much, Manojna, for this recipe. So let's get started. So we have a nice heavy bottom pan here, and it's important to use a heavy bottom pan. It's also important to use a stainless steel pan as opposed to a nonstick because mm -hmm. you don't want any dry heat going on with nonstick pans. Mm -hmm. So that's there. Yeah, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be adding a bunch of spices here and dry roasting it. Right. So one of the first things that goes is tuar dal or split pigeon peas. Mm -hmm. And we're using two tablespoons. Now we're going to be dry roasting so we don't want to wash it and everything. So here's a little trick. All you do is you just take a little clean piece of cloth, put it in there and just kind of rub it so that if there's any dirt or anything stuck to it, it'll get stuck to the cloth. It's clean, you can use it. The other option is of course you can wash your uh, tuar dal and then just allow it to dry up. So our next ingredient is whole black peppercorn and we're going to add a quarter cup of that. We have half a cup of whole coriander seed, one tablespoon of cumin seeds, and about five whole red dried chilies. Mm -hmm. Now this again is depending on what kind of chili you have. You could have a really yeah. spicy one, you only need one, <laughs> or really mild ones that you might need 10. So depending on what you have, you can adjust that. You have that buchilokia? Just a little <laughs> tad bit. <laughs> I actually have some, so I'm going to break this up because that way it just gets heated up evenly. We're going to take it to the stove and we're going to put it on a low to a medium, somewhere in between, and keep stirring it. Allow the pan to heat up, allow the spices to get roasted together. So we're going to allow it to change just a slight color and you'll get that wonderful aroma and that's about it. So our whole masalas have been roasting for about five minutes and we can see a little bit of smoke coming out from them and the color is changing slightly. So we'll go ahead and turn it off and transfer it to a cool plate. Once it's transferred, we're going to allow it to cool down completely before we grind it. So your spices have been sitting here for about 10 minutes and they're very cool to the touch so not even a bit of warmth left in them and that's how we want them. So we have a nice spice grinder. Um, blenders usually don't work very well for this application. You need either a coffee grinder or one of these spice grinders and that will give you the finest powder possible. So we're going to take this and just put it in here. And we're going to grind this until it's a nice fine powder. There you go, uh, it's into a fine powder now and what we're going to now do is add one and a half teaspoons of turmeric powder or haldi and give it just one more whirl so everything mixes well and we're going to put a little bit of dehi mirch or kashmiri mirch just to give it a little red color mm -hmm. so about a one about one teaspoon now again if your chilies are uh, about a beautiful red color you may not even need to add this a lot of times the chilies are really beautifully red and they're not spicy at all so you can put in a whole bunch of them and get a really nice color and we're just going to give it one quick whirl so that everything mixes. And there you have it, fresh rasam powder. Mm -hmm. Now if you take a whiff of this, you will Careful. get flavor. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you will get flavor inside your rasam. It's just a fantastic fresh ground and fresh roasted spices. Fabulous. So this recipe makes approximately one cup of rasam powder and it's good to make small batches because again fresh ground spices, fresh roasted spices, they give the best flavor mm -hmm. when they're used up quickly. So mm -hmm. as you finish it, make another batch, it's not that hard to do. Right and you know the longer you keep the powders, they yeah. lose the potency so you have to add more. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> That's all. But anyway, we've stored it in a, a jar, in a clean glass jar and just close it up. You don't need to refrigerate it. You can keep it with your, with your spices mm -hmm. and just use it over time. So thank you again, Manojna, for this awesome recipe. Thanks for sharing it with us and our viewers. Mm -hmm. And join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life. <laughs>